the figure of Reverend Lum in Gaudete is clearly related to Hughes. That is a, a difficult book to like. I think he was trying to write something out of his system. But he included with it a series of epilogue poems in a completely different voice. These were quiet, reflective, emotional poems. In these poems, he addresses a lost female. They become like elegies to dead women whom he has loved. I turned, I bowed in the morgue. I kissed your temples, refrigerated, glazed as rained on graveyard marble. My lips queasy, heart non-existent, straightened into some darkness, like a pillar over Athens. It felt as if, you know, that the guard had come down for, for a moment, uh, that this was somebody, you know, writing from the, from the heart. The poems felt sincere, and uh, I think that's what people responded to. So his next major collection is called Remains of Elmit. Elmit was the old sort of legendary name for his district of Yorkshire, the Calder Valley. And he writes a beautiful sequence of poems, I think his most underrated book, about the decay of the community that he grew up in, but also their poems of memory about childhood. In the middle of it, there's a big graveyard, which was the graveyard for the whole southern southwestern corner of Yorkshire. This is the one about the, the this graveyard full of bodies, which has all the all the graves of my mother's family in it. You claw your way over a giant beating wing. And Thomas and Walter and Edith are living feathers. Esther and Sylvia living feathers. Where all the horizons lift wings, the family of dark swans, and go beating low through storm silver toward the Atlantic. 